We'll take you now to the officially announced Madden 19 ratings for most, not all, the Dallas Cowboys players. So we'll have all the overall scores for the Cowboys players and we'll position they play on Madden so you'll see some differences based on the way we normally do things. We start things off, of course, with the bottom tier, guys. Now, don't panic that LP's a 46 overall. That's what Madden does. They don't value long snappers at all. They even list them as a tight end. The Darius Jackson Hive out there will not be happy. And then you got some more under the radar players who could be practice squad guys. Bryce Johnson, Joel Lanning, Jamel Showers, and so on. The next batch has some interesting players. A, there's Chaz Green. I know you guys don't like Chaz Green. I think you'll appreciate that. Some linebackers, Daniel Ross. And then Cooper Rush, which I found kind of interesting. A 63 overall, which is bad in Madden. And he's actually the Cowboys' third highest rated quarterback. Behind one, Mike White, despite Rush having the experience and being the favorite to be the Cowboys' backup. I found that one interesting, if not outright wrong. I would think that Rush would be higher than Mike White because right now, Rush is the backup. But... Madden ratings do some weird things sometimes. A lot of offensive linemen here on our next batch of players. Kadeem Edwards, Joe Looney, Marcus Martin. The guards didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me because Damian Mama is also a 65 overall, which uh, that doesn't make sense because Joe Looney, I think, is the Cowboys' top interior backup offensive lineman, yet he's behind Marcus Martin and Damian Mama. It was, was a bit of a, of, a, of a confusing thing to me there. Kadeem Edwards there also at 63 overall. Bryce Johnson not going to make the roster. I would have put Looney higher. I know he doesn't play much, but he's a decent backer for the Cowboys. I think that's a little bit underselling him. Next up, Antoine Woods, Trey Williams, Marquez White, Jihad Ward, and Huff for all 67 overall. We'll make note of Jihad Ward. Now, earlier in the show, I said I didn't think Jihad Ward was going to be one of the top three techniques this year. But 67 overall, even I think that's way too low for Jihad Ward. The upside is there for Ward. To put it behind guys like Lewis Neal and tied with Antoine Woods, I know that Ward was not good last year for Oakland because he barely played, but he's a former se second round pick and he worked with the starters during OTAs and minicamp. Jihad Ward at least flipped that number, at least make him a 76 overall. I think Madden, thankfully they can adjust the, the, the scores as the year goes on. They're going to change that rating, I think, early in the season. All right, folks, we are trying to get our Cowboys Report YouTube channel to 1,000 subscribers. We're not that far away. Only a couple more left to get there. Let's get there before the next show on Thursday. Head to chatsports.com slash Cowboys TV. It's got all of our great Cowboys coverage all in one spot with only Cowboys there. Again, that's chatsports.com slash Cowboys TV. It'll take you right into the redirect page for the subscription. Back now to our Madden 19 ratings. Cam Fleming is there, Noah Brown, and then two tight ends, Dalton Schultz and Rico Gathers. We'll start with Schultz, who is tied with Rico for third among tight ends on the Cowboys roster. Now, I think Schultz is locked into the roster, but his role is what is unclear to me at this time. And then there's Rico, who I think is fighting for a roster spot in the preseason. Now, Rico, of course, the different point set versus Dalton Schultz. Schultz a better blocker. Rico brings you more in the passing game right now, at least potentially should bring you more in the passing game. So I found it intriguing that Rico and Schultz were tied at 69 overall in the Madden ratings. Into the 70 overall and above here, Cedric Wilson, Joe Thomas, Blake Jarwin, Dorrance Armstrong and Rod Smith. Again, the tight ends will bring those up here now we see Blake Jarwin. Spoiler alert, Jeff Swaim is the top-rated guy at 73 overall. Either way, the Madden ratings kind of confirm what I thought from the beginning. This is not a good tight end group. I think it's one of the worst in the NFL. Nine career catches among those guys. That's not going to get the job done. There's everyone's fan favorite, everyone's pet cat, Bo Scarborough, 71 overall. Dayton Jones, Justin March Lillard, and Kayvon Frazier, a pair of three guys that I think are actually pretty good. And we'll mention Scarborough here. The halfback ratings, of course, beyond Zeke, who we'll get to later on in the show, a little intriguing to me. I'm very surprised that Scarborough and Rod Smith are tied at 71 overall. I think it's a little high for Bo and a little too low for Rod Smith. I'm fine with Tavon being highly rated there. We'll get to him more later in the show. But I think that Rod Smith should be above Bo Scarborough because I like Bo, a great seventh round pick, but Rod Smith is the backup without a doubt if you're not including Tavon Austin as the quote unquote backup halfback. On to perhaps the most underrated player in the Madden 19 uh, scores for the Cowboys. Lael Collins is a 72 overall. He's behind Damian Wilson, Jeff Swain, Michael Gaff, who we'll get to here as well, and Deontay Thompson. Collins is a 72, tied for 23rd among right tackles in Madden 19. He's behind former Cowboy Jeremy Parnell and Andre Smith. Really? I get that Collins had some issues last year, but I've seen Andre Smith play. He's not good. To put 
Collins behind Smith is a, is a total mistake. You got to bump that rating up at least five points. Give him the boost from playing behind the Cowboys' offensive line. That is way too low for Collins. I'm typing in a yes or a, a one on this one. I think he's absolutely underrated in Madden. Frankly, it borders on disrespectful for, for that score. That is way, way too low. And it's not the only way too low score we're going to get on today's show. How about middle linebacker Jalen Smith here? He's a 75 overall. Anthony Brown's a 75. Connor Williams is a 76. Charles Tapper, maybe a little bit high for me. Jeff Heath, I know that's a controversial player there. I know that Jalen was limited at times last year. His snap count go down, but it was better as the year went on, and he's behind or tied with several different backup middle linebackers. I'm not a huge fan of that one. I think that's a little bit too low for Jalen Smith. Bump him up a few points. Have him at least be level with Leighton Vanish, who we'll get to here again in just a second. I'll make note of Connor Williams as well. Saw some comments on Twitter after I tweeted out about the Cowboys rookie scores in Madden 19. I'm a big fan of Seawale, considering the, the, the conductor of that hype train. Some names I know you guys all like on this list. Randy Gregory there at 76 overall. Same with Malik Collins. Xavier Woods a 77. Van Der Esch a 77. And there's Taco Charlton also a 77 overall. Let's start with Gregory here. The Cowboys number five DE per Madden 19. Gregory's still awaiting the results of his reinstatement re request. Only played in two games since 2015, but 76 overall Madden. I just giving him a little bit of respect there. And then for Van Der Esch, he is the Cowboys' top-rated rookie at 77 overall, which it makes sense. He was the Cowboys' first-round pick. He should probably be the top-rated Madden player there. He did miss minicamp and a part of OTAs with an ankle injury, but he should be a key cock for that Cowboys' defense early and often. Folks, today's show is brought to you by the Guild. Visit stayguild.com and use promo code CHATSPORTS for 15% off your next stay. Kind of like a luxury Airbnb in Austin, Dallas, and more. If you're going to visit Dallas for a Cowboys game, you got to stay with the Guild. at stayguild.com, promo code CHATSPORTS. You see T. Will on there, Jordan Lewis, Byron Jones, Tyrone Crawford, and then Coney Ealy at 79 overall, which I don't get. I think Coney Ealy is battling for a roster spot right now. And you put him at 79 overall, third among Cowboys defensive ends. He had one sack last season. I I don't get that at all. I think that's way too high for Ely. Hopefully he becomes that guy. He plays like that. But I think Coney Ely is overrated in Madden 19. I don't like that at all. I think he's going to drop down as year goes on because I don't think he's going to play a massive, massive role for the Cowboys. You saw Byron and Jordan Lewis on that list there. Here are kind of the, the Cowboys cornerback uh, scores. Cheeto is number one at 81 overall. Byron Jones is at 80, Jordan Lewis at 79. I'll tell you what, folks, Madden does adjust the, the scores as the year goes on. I bet those top three cornerbacks all get boosts as the season continues. Some more 80 and 81 overalls here. Dan Bailey at 80, Tavon Austin, we mentioned Cheeto, Alan Hearns and Cole Beasley. I know it's a kicker, but Dan Bailey at 80 overall is, is just disrespectful. He's just tied for eighth among kickers. He's behind Sebastian Janikowski, who didn't play last year, and Jake Elliott, who the Bengals didn't even want. Now, Elliott's fine, but Dan Bailey is one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history. I know he had a down year. You're going to put him at 80? Come on. Get Dan up there up to 85, if not higher there. I disagree with that all the way. You saw Colin Hearns. Here are the Cowboys' top five wide receivers. Colin Hearns there at 81 overall. Then it's T. Will Thompson. And then Michael Gallup, who I bet you guys anything, gets a big boost before the regular season starts. Some more notable players here. Dak Prescott, 82 overall. There's David Irving. Chris Jones, by the way, is second among all punters. Demarcus Lawrence and, of course, Zeke. We'll start with Dak. He is tied for 16th among quarterbacks, tied with Deshaun Watson and Kirk Cousins, but behind Alex Smith, who for some reason is ahead of Kirk Cousins, which just makes no sense to me whatsoever, but that's beside the point. But Dak tied for 16th, so do you guys think that he is a top 16 quarterback in the NFL. Give me a one for a yes and a two for a no. I think it's about right for Dak, and if he plays well, I think he'll get that top 15 bump very shortly. We'll stick with his backfield buddy, Ezekiel Elliott, tied for third among halfbacks with Todd Gurley. Only Lev Bell and David Johnson are ahead of him, and that sounds about right. Now, I don't think there's much difference between Lev Bell, David Johnson, and, and, and Todd Gurley. So I'm fine with Zeke being a top four guy, tied for third overall. I bet by the end of the year he could be a 95 if he puts up the numbers. I think he's going to this season. And then your top four players, a bit of a separation there. Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Sean Lee, and Travis Frederick. We'll start with Sean Lee here, who was fourth among linebackers in the NFL, 
third among non-pass uh, rushing backers. And I'll tell you what, I am so glad to see Sean Lee get the respect he deserves. When healthy, Lee is among the best linebackers in the NFL. It's Luke Keekley, Sean Lee, Bobby Wagner. I completely agree with the Madden 19 score here. I'm glad they gave Sean Lee the respect. Of course, I think his injury rating is not very high because he battles injuries far too often. Speaking of injuries, Tyron was hurt for a good chunk of last year, but he's still the number two OT in the NFL behind David Bakhtiari, and I like that fit for, for Tyron. So I think that's exactly where he should be there. 95 overall, a top two guy. When healthy, you're not going to find a better tackle in the NFL. I think that injury, though, did bop him down a little bit in the Madden score. As for the interior offensive linemen, well, the top two guys, Frederick and Zach Martin, 96 overall, and all is right as it should be. Frederick and Martin, as far as I'm concerned, are the two best interior offensive linemen in the NFL. I'm very glad to see Madden feel the same way, putting them at really tied for first ahead of DeCastro, Hudson, and Brandon Brooks. But between Smith, Frederick, and Martin, who is the Cowboys' best offensive lineman? Let me know in the comments section, folks. I will lead toward Travis Frederick. I like a center, and we'll get to this later on in the, in the, in the year. He's probably one of the most important Cowboys offensive linemen, or just players overall. So a quick recap here, rapid-fire style of the top ratings for each of the Cowboys players that have been announced so far. You see LP there at 46. That's just Madden not liking long snappers. Cooper Rush too low at 63. I'm kind of surprised Joe Looney's at 64 overall. I thought he'd be a little bit higher there as well. Mike White is above Cooper Rush. That was a surprise to me. Some other guys, Damian Mama, I think is a bit too high relative to Joe Looney. Brian Price, David Wells, those guys are kind of battling for a roster spot maybe. Judd Ward is way too low at 67 overall. Got to be at least flipped. He's going to be a big part of the Cowboys defense, I think, this season. Cam Fleming seems a little bit low. I think that was a side effect of Leo Collins being way too low. There, are, There's Rico and Schultz. I'm surprised to see Rod Smith only at 71. Blake Jarwin going to compete for a role at tight end. Bo Scarborough, I'm surprised he's got the same score as Rod Smith. That's not what I would do. Kevon Frazier, Dayton Jones, Justin March Lillard could be key players at times on defense. Lael Collins, a snub at 72. That's at least five points, to, if not even potentially 10. That's an undersell for him. Jalen, I think, is too low. Glad to see Connor have a 76, although I think he'll be up higher as the year goes on. There are some big names here. Randy Gregory, Xavier Woods, Van Der Esch, Taco Charlton, all in that 77-76 range. Coney Ely at 79. Doesn't make much sense to me. That's way too high for a player who didn't do all that much last season. I think Dan Bailey is way too low at 80. I think Austin Hearns and Beasley are all about right at 80, 81 overall. Dak, 82, feels about right. He's tied for 16th. Tank and Zeke, well-deserved well 90-plus overall players. And then your top four guys, Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Sean Lee, and Travis Frederick. Frederick and Martin tied for the top interior offensive linemen. All right, folks, I am Tom Downey. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney for more Cowboys coverage. And if you guys missed anything, don't worry. We'll play it again here in just a second. But until Thursday, we'll see you.